Remember the time that it was COVID? Yeah, 2020, where every, every single thing, not just here in Malaysia, but the world as well, was forced to go on a hiatus. Of course, uh, some of the industry that was hit hard was definitely the tourism industry. Super massively hard. Nobody could come in, nobody could go out. And even though we are here in the country, we can't even go out to actually, you know, domestically enjoy our holidays. Yep. And another sector that was hit hard is the music industry. Uh, music industry. Exactly. And it continues being hit hard, according to some of the talents out there, the producers, uh, singer-songwriters, so on and so forth. But of course, Nabil, you're from the performing arts industry as well, so he brought in a friend today to talk about us, uh, to talk about all this wonderful stuff that is happening. Right, Nabil? Of course. <laughs> I mean, I got to say that this, this, this company, this body has mm. been a friend to most of the theatre art, uh, performing arts pr practitioner over the last few years. I remember there was one year when we had grants from mm -hmm. Chandana, of course, and we had so many original works being staged and that was really, really beautiful. And of course, uh, if we want to talk about grants, mm -hmm. uh, we should talk about the music industry as well because they can, they do need some of the help that is being given out by mm -hmm. Chandana. But of course, let's not hear it from me, let's hear it from the man himself because we have the grant manager of Chandana, uh, Mr. Muhammad Nazmi Musa, who will, will be referring as uh, Nazmi from now on. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for coming on to the show, how are you feeling? Uh, nice baju Melayu by the way. Yeah, Selamat Hari Raya. Thank you, thank you very much. And I gotta say <laughs> that your outfit screams Raya and music at the same time because we can see the baju Melayu mm. on top and then the Vans shoes <laughs> at the bottom which is very, very apt for a Chindana official. Maybe, maybe uh, Nasmi here is going for an open house after this. You never yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Kill two birds with one stone. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Now so, let's talk about the music industry and how uh, My Creative Ventures as well, um, how you've worked hand in hand and uh, to help all the music players out there. Uh, what has or what is the strategic role of this wonderful body to help and to elevate the music industry right here in Malaysia? Okay, first and foremost, I would like to say thank you for both from, for, from, uh, on behalf of my CV. Mm -hmm. I'd like to say thank you. And then I think it's not too late for me to say to wish Salamat Hari yes, Raya. Oh, definitely not too late. Okay, so basically my creative ventures or my CV mm -hmm. is always uh, in support, uh, committed to support the creative industry, mm -hmm. especially including the music industry itself. Mm -hmm. I think during the pandemic, we had, uh, uh, not to say harm done, lah, basically we had some uh, people that close shop. Right. You know? you know, so it's kind of like affected in terms of the business-wise, mm -hmm. you know. But uh, through our business unit, with our unit in uh, my CV, we have uh, Rio, we have Basket L, mm -hmm. and then we also have Chindana. Not only uh, having a financial support, but we still do, like, we, we have like, collaboration and then we have uh, programs that we, we also do that. Mm -hmm. So not only in terms of financial, to just to elevate this music industry, we help them in terms of, you know, collaborate, collaborate with them, create a program with them, you know, just to get them active back mm -hmm. while, while in the pandemic. So in the endemic area now, Alhamdulillah, they are, you know, it's slowly but right. still there. Sure, slowly but surely. But, uh, you know, Nabil, when it comes to all these wonderful grants being given to the public out there, mm -hmm. and of course to netizens and all the rakyats and all that, is that some of them, they don't know how to use these grants, mm. how to actually come forward. Mm -hmm. So, My Creative Ventures as well has been there for the longest time ever. How can actually My Creative Ventures uh, make themselves known to the rest of the players out there? The My Creative Ventures? Exactly. Okay. With its initiatives, so on and so forth. Okay, for this year, just, just to speak, for, okay, for last year, lah, I just go back uh, last year. Sure. Last year was the first DKD to, uh, for us. Mm -hmm. It was mandate, mandated for, by KKD to us due to our good track record. Mm -hmm. So especially on music, mm -hmm. so you have the KD for film in finance under purview of finance, and then you have an animation under purview of uh, MDEC. Right. So for us, it's only music. Right. So Alhamdulillah, for last year, we were thinking what to do, you know, with the, that mandate and then with the budget and all. So we come up, since for two years being hiatus, like you said just now, Brandon, uh, is for musician, for musician, the most uh, precious thing is to perform. So we're thinking like what to do, huh? what kind of program that suits, you know. This. So in 2002, we decided to do a concert grant. Right. Surprisingly, we didn't expect any numbers, you know. We didn't expect anything because our first DKD. Mm -hmm. So Alhamdulillah, we got 30, 322 
24 applications mm. after that two weeks of, of submission time. Okay. And then we managed to, uh, and then we approved about 13 of them. Alhamdulillah, 13 of them, and four of them was uh, was uh, was from the AIM, AIM apa? Pemenang lah, winner, winner. Mm. Of oh, anugerah industri. Anugerah industri yang sukses. Yeah, and then the rest is three. For 2023, I guess we have four. Yeah, we have four, and then uh, we one one is uh, dana persembahan, but sorry, one is dana pemasaran and promosi. Right. We the one is to actually give access for for our local music outside abroad. So that uh, about the value is about three hundred thousand. Right. Until three hundred thousand. Right. But you've mentioned a bit about DKD just now, and that is the Dana Kandungan Digital, or I guess, a digital content fund um, proposed by Chendana, which mm -hmm. is a, and one of the efforts to help the music industry. Can you just briefly tell us what is DKD, especially for people who are at home who might be musicians and they want to find out more about getting this grant? Is it some kind of a grant, or is it a, or is it a scam? No, I'm <laughs> please explain it to us. No. So okay. So basically, uh, 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 DKD, yes. which is Dana Kandungan Digital, it was incepted uh, in 2015. Right. During that time, it was under Kementerian Komunikasi and Multimedia. Uh -huh. So uh, I think 2022, uh, they, they mandated to us. So basically, DKD, the scope is only content. Uh -huh. uh, so we don't cover like you know, space or something like that. So we don't give grants. It's actually purely grant, mm -hmm. grant program. So when they mandate to us, when they give to us, so the, their scope is mainly on content, creating uh, new content. Uh, uh, the purpose is to actually uh, give a sustainable uh, music industry. Lah. So we have to, you know, to give sustainable, create a new content, and then plus uh, giving access to everyone. Mm -hmm. So that's the main main objective of DKD. Mm -hmm. But Nazmi, sorry, when you mentioned content, Nazmi, what does it cover? Are you talking about production of music, or are you talking about performance as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We basically, uh, when you say content, it's broad, but uh, for one of the one of the programs that we have is we cover the creation of music, which is the recording, the production of music. We cover the bands. We cover the uh, the rental backline even right. so wow. yeah so we cover the studio mm. you know but all, no purchases lah basically on on operation basically so we also cover marketing mm. when you want to go on tour literally the whole thing <laughs> yeah the whole production basically from A to Z oh. so yeah what oh, fantastic Jamil <laughs> shall we Shall we? Oh yes, I can sing. <coughs> I can sing a bit. I can play the drums apparently. And yeah, you can we both also. can play the drums. So yeah, there so goes we, our we band. Have Hasn't started of... crumble and fall already. <laughs> 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 but anyways, uh, let's talk about the requirements for this DKD. Yeah. Obviously, um, believe me, when it comes to you applying for something, especially me, right? we will always think twice. Whether should we apply? What is the catch? So on and so forth. Let's talk about the details of DKD. The requirements, or probably even um, you know, how long they are going to get tied with uh, this DKD program or any of that sort. If you could tell us, that would be great. Okay, so for requirement, for all these four, they have separate uh, requirement. But in general, we have... Uh, uh, one, you have to be Malaysian. Okay. Secondly, you have to be 18 and above. So just make sure if you live with your parents, you get your permission before you apply. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then you have a, at least three years experience in music industry, professionally. Okay. So, so oh, yeah. when you say three years experience in the music industry, what, what does that mean? Do they need to, I, I don't know, have videos of them performing um, on stage or, or music write probably. music? Okay, or? if let's say they are musician, they are at least to have a, a single out. You know? oh, and then the experience meaning they have been performing for three years, you know, they have been performing while during that three years, they perform or, you know, you have that proof saying they, they have performed, you know, they, they have created music for that three years. So we have, we will look at their portfolio to see that proof of three years. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we're in trouble, it. Nabil. <laughs> yeah, because we need to start now, Brandon. <laughs> and then apply in the next three years. <laughs> yeah. And of course, um, because you have the experience of managing DKD last year, uh, as you mentioned that you guys did not expect any numbers, but thankfully, you guys actually got a good reception and you guys have been helping out some musicians. So you know, you kind of know your way around it. Uh, of course, we always strive to be better. Uh, of course, we. I'm sure that in 2023, you want to disperse the grants 
more efficiently, more effectively, uh, what are the lessons that you learned uh, from one year of managing it last year? And, mm -hmm. and do you going to do things differently this year? Okay, so uh, let's go back last year. Mm -hmm. So 2002, uh, 2022, we had uh, one Dana Persembah Music, which is the concert. As I said just now earlier, uh, we didn't expect any numbers yeah, mm -hmm. during that two, two weeks of submission. And then it ended up, uh, we had like 324 creation. It was very overwhelming. So for us, it's like, you know, people are, you know, want to do this. Mm -hmm. People want to do this. It's just the, uh, so we cannot, uh, of course, we cannot, uh, uh, funding given to us, we cannot, you know, disp uh, give to everyone. So basically, mm. we have to pick and choose. Mm -hmm. of course. So if that's the most, uh, for me, challenging part, mm. where we have to pick and choose a the best of the best mm -hmm. of that 13. Mm -hmm. For us, uh, we, there's three criteria. So, but uh, in, in general, because we are, we are a governing body agency, so we have to look at various, various uh, types of application. We have to look at proposal, uh, the best proposal, not only that, the genre, diverse, the, uh, 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 from East Malaysia also, we have to look at that. So, you know, we want to support everyone, basically. Especially from East, East Malaysia, mm -hmm. Sabah and Sarawak. Mm -hmm. So we are hopefully for this year we are going to get more from them, Sabah and Sarawak. Right. What are you hoping to actually uh, see from them, from Sabah and Sarawak, when it comes to music? Okay. To be honest, Sabah and Sarawak, we haven't, you know, fully, fully, you know. Of course. You have so many talent, talented artists, talented. I believe so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we haven't fully discovered that. So they have like regional base, you know. So we have to grab them and then come, uh, come, uh, get them together and then, you know, to give them like uh, support, lah, basically. So hopefully for this one, hopefully Sabah and Sarawak would apply and then more, we, have, we want, because based on their regional, we want to see more of them, you know, be creative, you know, in uh, proposal. But the problem is, you have to be like uh, extra creative, lah. Extra creative for that, lah. All right, extra so. creative. Uh, that's very interesting <laughs> because I mean, talking about uh, musicians from Sabah and Sarawak, we actually have one famous musician from Sarawak, Kuching. Uh, that is ZRV, one of my most favorite musicians uh, amongst the, our local artists. The yesterday I call you song. Yesterday, semalam. yeah, semalam I called you, you to answer. You guys would know that song, obviously. So if let's say Ziavi is still is still uh, hasn't made her breakthrough yet, and she's watching this show, mm -hmm. you mentioned something about being creative with the applications. Um, what are the tips that you can give to these musicians out there? Because yeah. they might be watching and they want to know how they can perfect their perfect their uh, proposals. Mm -hmm. Okay, so first and foremost, I think for me is you have to apply. Mm. You have to make sure that you apply. Then only you have to look at the guideline, make sure you meet the guideline. I think when it, when it comes to proposal and ideas, you have to believe in your proposal. Mm. When I say being creative, be, you have to believe in your proposal first. You have to believe in your idea. So you have to convince us that you love it, you know. This is what you want to do. So you have to believe in it. Mm -hmm. So I think that's the most important thing. Lah. Mm -hmm. For me, when I mention being creative, is you have to be true to yourself and then be true to your idea and then believe in your idea. That's, mm -hmm. that's the most important thing. Okay, so would you say that that's your advice given to them also as well? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think uh, because what we had last, uh, last time, mm -hmm. uh, it, we had people being nervous, you know. Yep. They, it's not that they don't, they don't believe in the, their ideas, it's just that sometimes they're, they're not comf comfortable or not confident enough. Yeah, of course. You know, that's the issue. Mm -hmm. So, uh, when they ask a few questions, they could not answer because of, you know, the details is not there. Mm -hmm. So, for me, this time around, I hope that, you know, we are prepared. Again, I have to mention this. You have to believe in your idea. You, you have to, whatever we ask, you just go ring. Mm -hmm. Believe in it, <laughs> believe in it, believe in it. So, he's talking like, like, like that. that. Because it's really <laughs> us, bro. Yeah, it's really us. I mean, yeah. the preparation comes from the yeah. belief. What did you just say in the interview? Just now? I don't know, bro. I just go right. Yeah, I just, I, I believed in it. Yeah, but, but it's great. I mean, I'm hoping that you are seeing some more of this belief in amongst the applicants this year. Because yeah. obviously, you guys are also receiving applicants this year. Uh, how's that going? And how many are there so far? Okay, so... As, as uh, same goes to last year, we didn't as, we don't we don't expect any numbers. We, we hope to get at least five hundred in total okay. applications. 
as of now we have already 400 plus okay. last time the last morning i checked already for 460 that is a lot of applications right yes yeah so you have like literally 80 70 to 80 on a safer figure here for you still out there to still apply for this wonderful initiative also as well and usually once they apply for this uh this uh initiative right usually how long they have till they're given a date to come and see you and the rest of the team for an interview. Mm. Okay, so for uh, you mean from from the correct reply? from scratch all the way up the application okay. all the way up. So to okay, so all the all four we have a uh, 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 deadline, which is coming is on the fifth of May, one of it, which is the dana pemasaran antarabangsa. Mm -hmm. So and then the last one will be on the nineteenth of May. So after that we have a few uh, we have a pitching session. Mm. Okay, so roughly from there to award is, I would say, based on my experience, I would say about more or less one month. Mm -hmm. So yeah, they have that that uh, time, time mm. for us. Okay, mm. one month. Uh, so one imagine month. we have to do a basic filtering, which is our, internally we have to do that. So with 400 plus or 500 applications, imagine that. So yeah. to go through all the, you know. All yeah. the applications, you know. Yeah. And that one month, that's a lot of room for you to believe in yourself, of course. I mean, um, I think the preparation needs to come from the belief because sometimes when you talk about passions, when you talk about music, of course, there's something that's driving you. There's, it's the desire, it's the will to actually put your music out Correct. there. That's so, right. Yeah, I think uh, that's what you are suggesting. But of course, if they have any questions or if they need to uh, maybe get some practical tips on how they can improve the applications, maybe there's some way to contact Chandana. Okay, so basically, uh, for uh, for any anyone who wants to contact us, you can you can go to uh, you can email to us dkd at mycreative.com.my. Mm -hmm. So you can ask anything. We mm -hmm. we happy to reply you as you know as soon as possible, as much detail as possible. Mm -hmm. So, as long as you have that, you know, desire to apply, like you said, you know, so I, I want people to, you know, believe and then apply, 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 please, please, yeah. this is the the opportunity for you guys, mm -hmm. you know, you have yeah. been, you know, quiet, you know, you had... Exactly, you know, so, yeah. <laughs> you've been quiet for the longest time right. ever, now it's time for us to actually move out there uh, to to just come up with you know brand new things to put Malaysia back on the map when it comes to music. I mean, we've already we're already in the map in that sense, of course, all over the world. Mm -hmm. But of course, it's time for us to actually just let ourselves out there. Now, before we go, sir, could you again please let all the viewers at home know, you know, your 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 final message to them before they actually submit their application for this wonderful program? Please tell them. Okay, so before I uh, uh, before I go there. So in a nutshell, mm -hmm. so music industry now after the uh, pandemic is like a going a ride mm -hmm. or cruising in a tunnel. So you can see the light in the end of the tunnel, but you cannot you cannot go fast due to your petrol. You have this much of petrol. Right. Mm -hmm. So we want to be that petrol. Mm -hmm. We want to be your co uh, your passenger your, your co passenger to to whisper to you you can do this. We want to be your cheerleader to be at the end of the tunnel. To cheer you, mm -hmm. so hopefully we can do that. Hopefully you guys please do apply. And then I remember this one song mm -hmm. from the Ramones. It's called mm -hmm. "I Want to I Want I Want I, I Believe in Miracle." miracle. Mm. So the chorus goes like this: mm -hmm. "I believe in miracle. Uh, I believe in bad world for me and you." So miracle doesn't I mean doesn't come overnight lah. You know, mm -hmm. so I have to work for it lah. So basically, please, uh, I hope that people again. Believe is the most important thing, your idea, and apply is one thing. Mm -hmm. So just go to our website, it's, DKD, uh, it's mycreativeventures.com.my slash dkdmusic underscore 2023. Sure. You, can you can look at all the details there. Mm -hmm. So hopefully, yeah, we look forward for your uh, proposal. Yeah. Fantastic. Let's elevate the music industry right here in Malaysia. Yeah, of hmm. course, because when we talk about... Um, the music industry, there's a lot of, there's a lot, you don't really see yeah. the, the, the effort that they put on uh, and also some of the preparations and also the belief that they had. Mm -hmm. So definitely hold on to those words and if you're a musician, you can uh, contact Chandana for more info and apply for this DKD grant because it might help you propel, it might propel you forward to the international stage. Exactly. So once again, a big shout out to uh, Muhammad Nazmi Musa who is a ground manager at Chandana. Thank you so much, sir, for being with us here today. Thank you. Thank you.